Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATSelfPrep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to arrange these compounds from the lowest boiling point to the highest boiling point, we need to understand the intermolecular forces at play. If the intermolecular forces are strong, that means the compounds are going to be tightly held together. And if they're tightly held together, they're going to prefer being in a liquid phase where they're stuck to each other, and it's going to be hard to break them apart into a gaseous phase. Thus, if intermolecular forces are strong, they're going to have a higher boiling point. It's going to take more heat to pull these compounds away from each other. So in order to find the compound with the lowest boiling point, we're looking for the compound with the weakest intermolecular forces. And if you look at 2-methylbutane, it only consists of methyl groups. Therefore, we know that all it's engaging in is London dispersion forces, which are a very, very weak intermolecular force. So we'll put him down at the very end. What about 2-butanol and methyl acetate? Well, 2-butanol is pretty strong bonding because he can engage in hydrogen bonding, which is one of the strongest intermolecular bonds there are. So I'm going to assume that he's going to be the highest boiling point. Finally, methyl acetate, although he does have oxygen groups which are very electronegative, he doesn't have any hydrogens coming off of them. Therefore, he's not going to be able to engage in hydrogen bonding, but he will be able to engage in dipole-dipole interactions in which some of the electron density is pulled towards one side of the molecule, leaving the other side partially positive. Therefore, you'll get interactions between the partial positive aspects of the molecules and the partial negative aspects of the molecules, which will hold it together better than just the London dispersion forces, as is the case with 2-methylbutane. So we'll put methyl acetate right here in the middle. There you go. We've ordered these compounds from the lowest boiling point to the highest boiling point. Taking a second look at our answer choices, that makes answer choice C the correct answer. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. And if you are really looking for a way to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon. We'll see you next time.